we're here at uh, the Super One headquarters in Cheshire to check the failsafe system on the aircraft to make sure that if it loses the radio signal, it will fly back automatically and land itself. It's an amazing piece of kit, it's an amazing piece of technology. It's just running through a light sequence at the moment which uh, tells us how many satellites it's, it's got. It should f f start flashing continuously green at some point. Um, when it does that, it's, what that's doing is setting its home point so it knows that it's taking off from this particular part of the Earth on the planet. And if it loses transmission signal, it will automatically take over the flight itself, return to this point where it took off. It will put the landing gear down because the landing gear will be up once we take off, as you'll see. And it will land itself in or around this area. And it's normally within plus or minus two meters of where it actually took off from. It's a, an amazing piece of technology, but this is a really important test for us. If we're flying in and around motorsport circuits or anything like that commercially, we need to know that this system works. That if we lose for some reason the um, transmitter signal to the aircraft, it will take over the flight itself, come back and land where it took off. So it's a really important test. We've just had a series of uh, green flashes, continuous green flashes. Now, that's the aircraft telling me, the pilot, that it knows where it is on the planet, on the Earth. It's going to take off from this spot. We've put this little bit of piece of hardboard underneath uh, for this demonstration so you can see how far it lands from that when it comes back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how the GPS works, how it keeps itself in, in uh, one position in the air irrespective of what the wind's doing. Uh, the gimbal underneath that uh, controls the, ca uh, has the camera is a very expensive piece of kit and it keeps the camera, uh, the image very stable and very level. It's the best kit basically in the world at this sort of level. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna take off, I'm gonna hover it around about uh, six or eight feet. I'm gonna try and move the uh, aircraft by grabbing hold of the landing skids and pulling it along out of position. I'm going to let it go and you should see it go back to where it was. Uh, after that then I'm going to fly the other end of the field. We're going to turn the transmitter off to test the failsafe system. The aircraft controller, if it loses uh, the radio signal from the operator, it knows that it's got no signal and it takes over the flight autonomously and will go up to 60 feet so it uh, clears any buildings or trees that might be in the way. It will fly back to this area. It will bring the landing gear down because you'll see once we've taken off and, and moved away, I'll, I'll raise the landing gear. It will bring the landing gear down autonomously, come back and land in or around this area. And that is without the transmitter working. It's an amazing piece of technology. And normally if you turn a transmitter off and you were flying a radio controlled aircraft, for example, it would simply fall out of the sky. Okay, so you can see that I'm not actually touching the sticks now, I've centred the left stick and it will stay there and it would literally just stay there until the battery runs down. But what I'm going to do for this demonstration, I'm going to try and pull it out of position. Let's just bring it down to a, an altitude I can get hold of it, I'm not the tallest in the world. Okay, now I'm going to try and pull it away. And it will go back literally to where it was and it's happy now it knows that that's where I was it obviously thinks that um, with me pulling it it thinks the wind was pushing it so it's going back to where it was so we're going to bring the landing skids up as we typically would that gives us a complete 360 pan for the camera we're going to fly it to the other end of the field
Okay, so we're hovering in the distance. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the transmitter off. And uh, when I do so, it should then fly itself back to where it took off from and land itself, bringing the landing gear down on its own. Now, if you turn the transmitter off on any typical um, radio controlled aircraft, it would simply crash. So let's turn it off. It's now off. It should raise up, the landing gear's come down. So it's taken over the flight now autonomously, should raise up now to around about 60 feet and fly itself back to where it took off from, which it's starting to do now, and land in or around the piece of hardboard that we've got on the ground. That's where it took off from. So we'll see how close it gets. It's just hovering overhead, it's getting its bearings and it will start to descend and it will descend very slowly until it lands. So you can see where it took off from. It took off from this piece of hardboard and it is going to land within about 12 inches from where it departed. And that is pretty impressive. That's the DJI S800 aircraft and uh, that's the failsafe demonstration completed.